Eighth with uh, Emily Pedersen, made a very solid start as Emily, who came, of course, so close to winning the Trust Golf Women's Scottish Open last year, and things might get a little better at the par three, fabulously played. There's about 150 yards difference between the two. Here's Pedersen. This is where it all started, really, for her last year, didn't it? First event back after lockdown. See, kind of in between here and Carnoustie as well. As Pedersen sends her birdie putt on its way, is uh, the old town itself, St Andrews. Better to at least land it on the right portion. Pedersen. Not quite catching the slope that she wanted. Pedersen. 300 yards to the front of this green. It's one of the risk reward holes that are on the course. Uh, well, there's your answer. Very much in reach. Back at the start, second shot at this par four for Pedersen. Beautifully played. After a drop shot at 10, that should get her back to two under. Here we go, Pedersen with a very seemingly straightforward three. Edison certainly put him one together. Just think anything under par and then you can get up tomorrow morning and hopefully take advantage of the calmer conditions. It's really good play there. There's a false front at the front. There's one a major either. Pedersen for eagle, although it's uh, one you take two putts for birdie and run. To three under. Side here. Yeah, she changed up the test, the uh, the old new putting style. And that's a three putt bogey for Pedersen. How funny, aren't we, golfers? Should the season of her life and then went and switched grips. I know. <laughs> We're never satisfied. But she learned. She went back and uh, finished top 20 at Evian, finished top 10 last week in Tokyo. It's got a good round going despite this three pot. Gets her back to minus two. Just tied for 20th. Is it? Commentator's curse. Yeah. It happens in uh, water sports also. <laughs> Just me. Pedersen should make the most of these par fives, and she has done. Third eagle putt on this back nine. So she'll get back to three under. Still uh, Liz Young out on the course at minus four. She's only played eight holes so far. Pedersen up and over the slope here at 16. Not bad, but... Pedersen drove it into the greenside bunker. She went the aggressive route. And it has paid. It really has been up and down, hasn't it? Three putt. Looking to get up and down here, Pedersen. Or, in. or even better. That's a good finish, that, because it's one of those if you drop a shot on the 18th hole. Just had her first bogey of the day, so she's back at three under, which is where Pedersen hopefully is going to finish. What a good round. There'll be a few out there, of course, 